Hey guys, we're back. And it looks like we're going to be doing Eyes on You versus Ninja Penguins. And we're going to be pushing it forward and we're going to be getting this done. Uh, so this is, like, the, like you said, the team that you sub for, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. So I do have a slight bias towards them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> only slight. It's, it's not much. Well, you also know uh, the ins and out of this team, so what can you tell us about them? Um, in my opinion, Cyril, probably the best Kraken there is at the moment. Um, and becoming one of the best behemoths. Um, Mazzle, the trapper, uh, has had... He's quite an aggressive trapper, however, he has been toning that down. But we may see him play aggressive and actually do the assaults job. Um, support, very strong Hank, very strong Cabot. We'll have to see what, uh, what gets picked. And again, Wessington, great medic as well. Can play everything, and I mean everything. You could see Lazarus and be viable. We've run Lazarus Bucket against Behemoth and won. Uh, we've run Lazarus Bucket against uh, Goliath and won, so... I don't know if you're saying that because you know I love Laz, or uh, you're just picking on him. I don't know. No, I, I, I would like to see Laz a bit more competitive. I honestly would. I'd, I'd like to see him just get the little bit of love that he deserves, especially against Behemoth. Great, great counters to Behemoth. I mean, people say that he, like, Behemoth counters him. I think it's the other way around. But we'll have to see how people play it. But, yeah, I mean, a really, really strong team. And, again, Ninja Penguins as well. Uh, Source TV, another great Kraken. Um, and, again, Savvy, great medic. Uh, Nightwing, also quite an aggressive trapper. So we'll have to see if that bites in the ass. And I just think it's, this will come down to, to Cyril, really. He'll... He's just phenomenal to watch. He really, really is. He will not miss. He will never hit a vortex that only hits one person in the middle of a fight. He will always get multiple vortex strikes. I'm like seeing here that hits. Source is actually on the list for Ninja Penguins. Yeah, yeah Source TV is, the, is Ninja Penguins monster. Really, really, really strong Kraken as well, yeah. Oh, okay. He's a strong Kraken. Um, Learned something new today. I didn't know he was on Ninja Penguins. But yeah, no, it, like that's actually a really strong Kraken as well. He knows that Kraken. He knows Kraken ridiculously well as well. As yeah, as well. He's really, really strong. I mean, both both teams have played against each other quite a lot as well. They played each other last week, so if so they they, know they each other pretty yeah well. they they know each other pretty well. So we'll have to see how how if they've managed to change anything up. I mean, we certainly have so. They're probably putting yeah. bets in the chat right now, then. <laughs> <laughs> bets in the chat. Uh, I say, I mean, I've, I've just got that bias for you, though, so I can't, I can't really uh, can't really comment on this one. It's it's good to cast them in. They're a good solid team, and especially especially since they've got these new these new players in, um, like Weslington and and Mazel in to replace. We're back. He went from support. He's now back on assault. Much much stronger for him. Binge was on Trapper, now on support. Everyone's sort of sorted. I mean, even Cyril was actually initially when Bugsy was their monster. Um, Cyril was actually their medic. So, um, you know, they've they've moved around, but I, I feel like they've got a really really solid team right now, and they can go all the way. Um, especially after last week, after last Tuesday, it was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Last Wednesday, beating Evolve Hype four two in the Evolve Hype League. Um, games out of six. That was really, really strong. Win 4-2, so... Win 4-2 you know. is a good sign of, you know, you know what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, beating Insane, one of, possibly, you know, one of the best uh, all-round monster players right now. Really, really strong, so... They've got a lot of potential. Right now we're just waiting on the lobby to get this started, and we'll get this launched up. That's what we're waiting on right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, Evolve Hype currently playing Wolves Legendary right now, and uh, actually Legendary taking the first game very quickly as well. It's quite strange to see. I do you feel like they could have got an earlier dome on him, but where it goes. Well, it's all about that early dome, right? You have to like that first dome is critical. Yeah, I mean, especially against um, especially against Legendary. Legendary doesn't fight. Stage one or two, he just doesn't ever. I mean, he did in that one, and he managed to win. But like his his style has always been. So if you can get that stage one dome, it's so so vital. 
and it's just the kind of pressure as well. I mean, if you're if you're on a third health, you're playing more defensive than you would normally be, which kind of gives the hunters the benefit. So the more damage you can do, sometimes sometimes it's even just a mentality change to to kind of push the monster into into more defensive when actually he needs to be more more offensive. So you know. Who's got the bigger ball sometimes? Well, definitely when you have a higher health pool, it does help with that front. That's indeed, yeah. But, you know, no no heals on the monster side, so teamwork has its benefits. Well, and, like, one of the main things is whenever I play monster, right, and you're looking at your health pool, you go, okay, I have this much health. How much of this can I lose to get a strike? Or how much armor can I lose, you know, before I got a bail? Right, so if you see a trapper that's overexposed, you're going for that every time. But if you see the assault that's overexposed, you're like, okay, well maybe you know it's not the best idea for me to go in on this because sure I might get the trapper down. I'm oh, sorry, the assault down, or I might get him low health, right? But then he's gonna pop his shield and buy time, and then I'm probably gonna get domed because the trapper is usually not that not that far away, but they're you know giving you enough space so you can get a little bit of damage in. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they, they different targets have different priorities. I mean, for me. When you're running a Hank, Hank's the priority. Yeah. Whereas when you're not running, then it's it's the medic. And again, if it's a Laz, then you should always go for the Laz, even more so. Um, just because once you take that Laz out, it's so difficult for him to come back. So, I mean, you know, different... Is, I always go after him second. Is because you get one person down, which if there's a Hank, which typically there is if there's a Laz, you get rid of Hank, bam, they have no shields. Oh, suddenly it's like, oh, Laz, don't, Laz is going to be coming around. Well, Laz has to go to the body eventually anyway. So, yeah, you can camp it. As long as you keep an eye on it, you're okay. Um, so you're going to be able to smell, and if you see footprints or if you see uh, that jetpack booster, you know he's going to be on that on that body just waiting. It's true. Um, and I kind of feel like... As a Lazarus, you have to be very, very patient. I mean, you've got the in-cap time, plus you've got 45 seconds yeah. longer uh, after the death before, uh, whilst you can revive someone. So you do have a lot of time, and that's a lot of time for a monster to have to camp. One thing I've been yes. seeing a lot of lately in regards to that and being patient is actually seeing Laz being ran in position 4 in the back and actually doming him outside the dome until someone goes down and then him waiting and just chilling out and waiting until uh, he has his opportunity to go and do the res. See, personally, I feel like that's a bit of a mistake. I mean, he's got his own cloak. He's got the supports cloak. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of defense that you can get. Laz's uh, heal burst also comes up the fastest. It's got the shortest cooldown. And you've then got the benefit of all that damage from the sniper rifle, plus the damage from... Uh, it doing hit markers for the for your teammates, so you kind of you lose the heal bursts, which is already a little amount of heals anyway, and then you lose the damage. So doing him outside the dome just I don't know it doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't feel like that's what should just be done. But that's just kind of the way that you know I'm used to playing. So if it works for your team, then fine. If it works for your team, you know if you if you beat a monster, that's it. That's, I guess that's the ultimate deciding factor. Did you kill him or did he live? Yeah, yeah. So, hey, you know, and it's to me, it's all about teamwork. You can't have a three-man oh. team ever. At no point, you know, it takes it takes the shields and the heals and um, the harpoons and the heal bursts and everything else to protect one another. And if you have one person missing then it's just easier, whether it be, you know, a benefit just because you, uh, fine, you can get an easier res, but actually, if you can stop him from needing a res in the first place, isn't that a str stronger solution? I agree, I was just sharing what I've been seeing a lot of on ladder, right, because, you, like, you see, every once in a while you see these weird things that people do, and some sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, like, in regards to the last scenario, I've loved Laz since, like, he, I think he was the first person I ever elited in that in this game, was Lazarus. And the one thing that was getting a lot of people killed was that they'd be like, oh, someone's down, I have to get immediately in there to resurrect. And it's like, no, you can chill back, grab a coffee, set up a hammock. Uh, you got, like you said, you got the support cloak, which is on a 26 second cooldown, I want to say? And it runs for um, 10 seconds, right? Yeah. Plus, um, 
you're going to be running reload speed anyway, so that lowers the cooldown of your own cloak as well. Um, and yeah, you're right. You do as a as a, a Lazarus, you do just need to sit back and fine against Kraken. It's very debatable. I think Kraken is the worst monster, well, or the best monster to, pl to play against Lazarus. But you know, you've got you've got that time to chill, just to sit back. And if the monster camps a body, well, if you've got the team set up, such as a bucket, a hide, and a griffin or a maggie, then yeah, you're you know, dealing damage for days. Huge damage. I mean, we we played a Lazarus bucket against um, against the behemoth uh, against Cyril, and uh, at the end of the game, I think the bucket sentries sentries alone did 21k. That's a huge amount of damage, and that's just because of how much the behemoth camped. And, and how strong it was that Lazarus didn't go in to, to get the res until he could. Yep. And by the way, game started now. Uh, so we are now in game and we are live. Uh, right now we're going to have to see exactly what we're going to be doing in regards to choices right now. They haven't shown their choices. We are going to be on refueling tower though for game one of the series. And we do have uh, refueling tower as the first map, and we've then got, if I can just find it, distillery is second map, and weather control is the tiebreaker. Oh, okay. What, really? Weather control is the tiebreaker? I hate that map. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, get that one done right at the start. Depend. Well, that's the thing, though. If you don't have to, if if you feel confident to win 4 0 or 3 or 3 1, then you don't have to play that tiebreaker. So, you know, and it and depends whether you hate weather control more or less than other maps. And can you put a bet on what Cyril's playing in this game? Kraken. I, yeah, like, cool. every, until Behemoth gets allowed, it's he will not play anything else. Yeah, he doesn't He doesn't like Goliath or Wraith. But we do see that it's going to be a Maggie versus the Kraken, though. Can work on Refueling Tower. A lot of height. There's also a lot of um, foliage. I feel like Cabot will work really well because of the dust tags. And because, you know, Kraken's got a gigantic head. Yeah. And I feel Griffin, you know, much higher accuracy. I I, I'm, I'm just torn. I think Griffin's just a much stronger pick than, than Maggie. I feel like... Um, Griffin's feel more like, universal in what he can do. Yeah. So and if I feel you run like into it, a Kraken, for instance, you know exactly what you're going to be dealing with. Maggie, it's more so dependent on if he's going to be a front, balls to the wall, aftershock in your face, blowing up everywhere, shooting his load. Yeah, and, and it's it's not only that. I mean, the benefit of, of Maggie is Daisy. Oh, he's but, taking the free corpses, by the way. He's actually eating the bodies of the uh, previous civilians. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the reasons why this map is so monster-sided. I feel like against any team, I think the monster should win on this. It is a very monster-sided map, this. Yeah, starting off at 45, 40%. Oh, he's getting the... <laughs> Oh, uh, the monkeys are slapping him around a little bit, keeping him off that. The hunters are dropping in right now. He didn't get too far, so he's going to be heading north by the looks of it. On the map there, you'll see that. He's already 75% uh, into his Evolve, though. Really, really strong. He's going to get a couple more Mammoth Birds if he can find them. Here's the one. He's going to have the Evolve ready before the hunters find him, which is exactly what he wants. Yeah, and they see the trap jaws of where he can throw that food. Daisy right now is leading them all north. Kyra right now is still holding on to her Accelerate. Didn't see your pop that yet, did you? Uh, I did not see it now, but you know, it, with Maggie, it's kind of better to hold it off and then, and then run with the, the trapper and try and use that speed boost to right, guarantee the guarantee the dome. Yeah. Um. I mean, Cyril should have full evolve right now, full armor. There you go. Yeah, he's, he's, got full, he's got he's got full armor. He's looking to evolve, but we'll have to see where he goes right now. We're seeing that right now. He is kind of just chilling around the river. They do have things on, so they know exactly where he is. He's trying to pull him over though, so he has a better stage to fight. I mean, right, ne right next to that sloth, great place to fight. Yep, the good old ball screen, ready to punch people in the face. I mean, he's at the moment he's just looking for a, a place to dome. He's just got a lot of circuits he can fly around and go straight on onto Spanners here. Yeah, he's just trying to deal as much damage as he can to support. Maybe pick him off, get as much as he can get. He is, he is dealing damage, but did get two with that vortex on the medic and the support. He is pushing, he was able to get through though without any dome. Trapper is yeah. though in position though to able to get one more chance at it. Yeah, Nightwing doing a really, really good jo job just to stay a bit further back. And uh, it does look like uh, someone might be able to sneak through the They know exactly the where he is and he does have the tag above him right now on the uh, 
Sinister side, although it doesn't look. Yep, there's the Vortex pushing the Assault on the low ground. Pings are going down live on the Zero right now, pushing him further north and back into that corner. He's just going to keep the lane, keep going, and then as soon as he can get past, he'll dart, he'll dart straight for it and then be able to get involved in the caves on the side of the map. Very, very long map this. Not very wide, but very long, which means that it's very easy to gain a lot of distance. Well, it's bottom off. heavy, right? <laughs> it's, all twer it's all about that twerk, right? All the, all the weight is at the bottom of the map is what I'm getting at here. Because if you see it, it's all down here and it's just right there at that bottom. Although they are closing in right now. Come down to where that trapper is. He's just gonna sit down. He's just... He does see him. Yep, there's the ping. And he is over the river. We are gonna see the dome coming out right now by looks of it. There's the dome going in. And is he in? It looks like the Kraken is in the dome. Daisy yep. is right now sitting there pointing at the right direction of that explosion and showing that he is close. He doesn't actually have the ring there. He doesn't have the circuit there. I mean, I think he might have on this right hand side. And he'll just be looking to go right around the roses. Yeah. I mean, you know, um. I mean, the span is not even bothering to take out his damage up there. I mean, the, the, lan the damage plus the lance check is a great combo. I mean, like a Cyril lose, lose two bars of armor straight away from that. I don't think he wants to fight yet until he gets some lightning strike, though. He wants that damage. That's all. I mean, he has gone three into Vortex, not one into Banshee. Great decision, I feel like, against. He's having some trouble with that harpoon, though. He's unable to break it. He's getting rocked while he's been having some problems there. He is on health damage, so we are going to get one bar, maybe two. Yeah, oh, there's the second bar right there. This seemed very unfortunate. I don't quite know what happened there. He couldn't seem to destroy it. No, oh, I think it was just like he was looking at just the wrong way. So maybe on his screen, it was showing it was over there, but it was actually on the other side. Yeah, very strange, but he has managed to get away. He should be able to get the evolve. Cabot doing more and more damage. The exit oh, damage Cabot's chipping doing away. Does best. Mean, boost, but... well, fighting in these caves will be a great place to fight. Tyrant's got the salt, though. Oh, the salt's down to half. Tyrant almost got him and got the full lunch, but not today. We're going to have to pack a lunch box. Should actually give Cyril the free, uh, free evolve. You know, just yeah, the medic, medic and the assault. Not chasing. Should be able to get this. Great place for him to fight if they do fight. Does have a Reaver right next to him for a quick bit of uh, armor. He's got, two. He's got the one he killed right before as well, so that's good four more four bars of health. Actually, five now with the heroes and change. He's going three points in the Banshee Mines, though. So he's going to go four, he's going to go Banshee Mines, and he's going to Vortex him right in the Banshee Mines. That's very interesting considering he gets the mark of it. He loves to play this this um, type of build. I, f I feel like it doesn't work against Markov, but it depends whether Markov's running capacity or not. If Markov's running capacity, he could be in trouble. This is going to be lightning up for days, just removing all those Banshee Mines. Let's just throw yeah. them one at a time, it's going like this is really work. Yeah, yeah, throw them one at a time, and put them in places that she have control of. Mm. I feel like, I feel like a bit of a mistake against Markov, but... Time will tell. I was, I was very, very sure he was going to go live as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised he picked Banshee like what? Maybe he just knows that he's going to throw his bullets for a loop by doing this. Cabot right now shooting him right in the butt. Uh, he's getting poked and poked and poked. He is at half armor. Just getting another shot there from Cabot. He has to approach the dodge one. Goes right over his head. Assault right now is wrapping around, trying to get into those caves to start dealing damage. Caboose is pulling out of the one corner and just keeping him locked in there in that corner. Uh, Trapper is on the outside, just trying to make sure that the Kraken doesn't wrap to the west, but it looks like he is now. And Trapper's trying to get into position for the door. Yeah, I think he might have actually managed to get past this Trapper. It's going to be very close if Night, Night Rain does decide to throw the dome. The Trapper went east and went to about here, and then he smelled him and he was... But it does look like he'll probably get domed over in this section, right by the cave, and there's good height clearance for him as well for fighting, and some good food in the area as you see he's right now at almost full on daisy right now just kind of pointing towards him. pretty happy release the dust. boost is still being caboose throwing it down gonna get a couple more headshots in. still more banshee missing the ass it is gonna be engaged right now off the support line to as much damage as possible 
Going down those Banshee Mines, trying to keep away from the Assault to deal damage and take them out. Benek right now is at half health, already used the heal burst, gonna be looking for it, gonna be looking for a heal, and almost dead. Oh, it just closed down another 5%, down goes the Medic, Medic's down. Trapper's at about half health right now, trying to run away for the protecting that close track, and right up in the air, just keeping that pressure off. I feel like this should be game for Cyril here. He's got the Medic down, he's got no heals. Should win it. Oh, right now, Medic's going to be in the dropship at this point, so any damage he does right now is going to be permanent. It's all permanent damage. He can't do it. can't use it anymore. Sports down. Sports down. There's a couple times gone. He's going to go for Night Lane next. Yeah, he's keeping an eye on that body so the Assault doesn't grab it, but he is close, so he might help him. He does know that they're going for it. Not going to let it happen. Not today, Junior. Not today. Sports out and in the dropship. Cracker right now is on the hunting prowl right now. He's down. Trying to see how many people we can put in the dropship. Assault did pop a shield. So yeah, there's the feet pump. Yeah, but I mean, that uh, only gives uh, time for easy and, to get away, really. And the trapper does die to either a plant or a tyrant. I didn't see which. And Daisy's at 1% health. Literally, uh, if, if, uh, a wind uh, killer. I find it amazing that the survival odds here are still 14% for the Hunters. It's quite amazing, guys. Wait, uh, for, I don't understand how this is 14%. Like, just look at this. She, Daisy has no health. Yeah, I mean... D depend. I mean, is he gonna... If Markov goes down, Markov puts his shield so that Daisy can get him back up. Cyril went for the Evolve. I think he Oh my gosh, he's gonna get the Assault. Assault yeah. up. I think he assumed that... Assault gets revived, it goes down to 12%! <laughs> wow. Oh, and there's three points there's in the lightning strike right there. 30 seconds till dropship, but I think... Sorry, must have thought that Nightwind had managed to escape and hadn't been killed by our life. So he just thought, fine, I've got the Assault, I'm not going to go chasing, I'm not going to go looking and wasting time. Daisy, though. Going to get the free evolve. Daisy, Easy okay. doing work, though. Yeah, Mark yeah, always just sitting on the high ground. He's just gonna let him eat, eat, eat. One strike to everything. Boy, I mean... He can just wait for this dropship to come down right now. Or he can go for the power relay. He's at he two health, full armor, and they've got three strikes. And they're well, probably gonna top off Daisy because they strike. saved all their lives. We've all got one strike now. Oh, sorry, yeah, they've all got one strike. Minus Daisy. Daisy things. doesn't have a strike. I'm telling you, if Daisy doesn't get a strike, you're in for a good time. One percent health, but now he's got the line strike. With how much he just annihilated that medic, and then the cabot. I don't know. We'll have to see what he can do here. Is he it's not getting... over till the fat lady sings. It is still uh, his odds of winning are going down as the, the longer this goes. Just take stand by for yeah, with the uh, new hunters come back in and Daisy going back up to full HP. And they do get the dust tag off, so cracking this reveal. He's a hand, he's a power. He's pushing in, trying to focus down the trap by the looks of it. Ron likes the trap for some reason. Oh, and Medic is right now getting involved. He's gonna be low on health right now, putting himself down to 10%. Needs to be healing himself more and more. Needs to get more healing right now. He's just swallowing the hole. Yeah, and the stealth does come right out from the support as well. Daisy is down though, so it's going to be down to three of them. Uh, support already used the float, so it's going to be on cooldown right now, and there it is. She's coming off the cooldown right there. We got, got a floating body going on right there. Got, the medic's down there as well. He's only up to spanners right now. He does have his cloak, but... Yeah, can't get a revive. Get me up! Incredibly strange. Well, it did get the medic up, so the medic will lose the Pretty, but now two strikes is going to be even easier to get that much more. Yeah, they're just plummeting. They're falling apart right now. And there goes Spanners. He's only up to Savvy. He's going to know exactly where his lightning strike comes through. And cleans up the medic. The medic is down. Yeah, really, really well played. All it took was one fight. As soon as that medic went down. Really, really. 
That was a really good game, though. It was well controlled good by games. Kraken. He had full. GG. Uh, showing how strong he is in Kraken and, and even going Banshee Mines. I mean, against the Markov, that should not have been able to do um, enough damage. Next? He should have been at stage two on exactly the same amount of damage as stage one. Purely Mystery. because of Markov can delete any Banshee Mines from yep. coming out. Well, played it really, really well with the Sneak Pounce. Gets the win, gets the uh, the stage two um, dome fight, really, and then uh, and then just takes it from there. I'm not quite sure what happened to that Trapper, whether it was taken out by Wildlife or, or whether we just didn't see him taken down, but... No, I, I saw the Trapper get away. The Trapper was long gone. And then I'm, it, he ran right over the tyrant path, though, and I know there is a plant over there as well, so it could have been either or. Uh, with nobody to help, he was probably kicking himself with that one. Yep. Well, the only thing we were around was Daisy, and Daisy can't free from a plant or a tyrant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Daisy's good what? at one thing, biting is not one of them. 1% one, one, one HP Daisy oh, saves man. the mark of a... And the, the, Best revive ever, though. Yeah, the... Uh, the Shield actually coming up, the personal shield just coming up in time. Yep. To be able to it was move. meant to happen. They were meant to live. Uh, Ninja Penguin coming up with Ninja Revives and showing up what it is, and they tried to waddle their way to victory, but they should have slid on their belly instead. Yeah, I mean, it was it is quite a um, a hunter uh, monster favored map. This one, however, I feel is fairly even, if not slightly, slightly hunter favored. So we'll have to see. It all comes down to the monster's playstyle on this one. Like, for ones that require a large amount of traversal, I don't think this map really impacts them that much, and I think it's kind of balanced in that aspect. But the close range hunter, uh, sorry, monsters, uh, those are the ones that are going to have real problems on distillery. See, if you can force a fight in the, um, in the building, in the caves, you've actually still got quite a lot of close quarters fighting there. So again, there's, there are other ways of, of getting around that if you actually force the hunters to dome you where you want to dome. Yeah. And we do see a change here. They are going to be going with Griffin and Hank uh, to replace the Kaboot and Maggie. Yeah, I mean, wanting the extra shields, wanting the survivability. Griffin, great pickup. I'd have actually said, I'd have actually picked Griffin up on the other map and Maggie up on this one. Much, much bigger map. If he starts sneaking, then... He could get a free stage, um, free evolve, and that's exactly what happened last week. He played it sneaky on this map, managed to get the free of stage two, and win. So, you know, this swings around about both both sides. So we'll have to see how well he does sneak in. He does go head towards me. He did kind of make a false track there, and we'll see that right on the hunter side, and we'll see them probably head towards the south yeah. and show them the right. Right over to the river and heading south, and then he crouched walked backwards. So yeah, it's going going around what um, what's called Big Rock. It's a very very common area for oh, a lot there. of monsters. I was worried for Cyril there. I thought he was gonna get some birds though, because he's eating this on the outside of the cave just barely. If he just took that, little he would've been fine. But it looks like he was okay. Luck was in his favor. We do have MV Poop here. He yeah, MV Poop. Too. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was Guidance that. that on that, and I just kind of stole it from him. Didn't it yeah, always it did. uh, throw you off, though, when you try to eat those things, and you're like, why can't I eat these things? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I always, when I'm a saw, I always destroy them. They have actually, see what I mean? They've, they've gone around that southern cor yep, they went southwest south. corner, because it's such a common place for monsters to go, and he's led them there. Again, the griffin, this is his weakness. He cannot know where they've gone straight away, like Daisy Gang. Does well, get birds now. Nice right off the get-go. Uh, but yeah, no, Griffin's problem is that he can't lock down the initial stage one final quick. Same with Abe, though Abe has the same issue. Yeah, but however, once you find them with Abe, it's much, much easier to know where they are with that tracking dart yep. with Abe. Because you, yeah. you will always have that tracking dart in you. Always. I think Abe's, so Abe's really, really strong right now. I, I would like to see more Abe. I feel like he can do just as good a job as, uh, as Griffin, to be honest. And at the I moment, the waste. I think Abe does a great job, but I think you're treating him more as a damage dealer as opposed to someone that's going to get you control while you're in the dome. Especially against someone like a Kraken, right? You want someone that'll be able to bring that Kraken down and you can lock down. Stasis needs to do a better job of bringing them down than the Harpoon does. 
But still, you can use your traversals and stay upwards. The harpoon does give you lockdown on all those traversals. And Maybe and if you burn through the traversals, yeah, you can do it. And yeah, they, they, yeah, they are. I mean, that that could be very detrimental if they've got no cloak to to survive the onslaught of Sarah if he turns on them. So I have to see if it pays off. And that's just managed to get around. I think he's managed to avoid. I think he no, he's, he's a lot further away than he is. They are sneaking up on him right now. And there are on cloaks, so he's going to be smelling them and he'll know exactly what they're close. And they're yeah. just outside smell where he is at this point now. I feel, like he's, I feel like he's going to go make the rush over to... Um, southwest? Yeah, it's the southwest over to your corner. We, we like to call it second rock. Big rock, second rock. And uh, he's going to go for the evolve there, force the trapper to go one way or the other. One way or the other. He may even go for the... the oh, Inside here, that would work. Um, very close to, but I'll have to see what he does. Right now, he is the stealthy around the corner, just trying to get as much as he can. Pings are coming out live, though. They know where he is. Bullets are being fired. Trapper revealing that they know exactly where he is. Gets Vortex yeah. back a little bit, slows him right down. Monster crosses the bridge, doesn't burn it behind him though, so they're free across that bridge. Yeah, he's going to go for these caves, and I'd assume again, he could go Banshee, could go Lightning Strike. I don't know what he's going to pick. I mean, he may try and mix it up, throw them off, go for Lightning Strike. That might what he time. was doing last game, was he was trying to be like, okay, I'll go Banshee might okay, change it up a little bit and give him a little bit scared off my hiney. And, uh, and they might not know, you know, what he's going to do this time. Great play, so that's he is going to go for the Evolve, got the distance, and again, if I was the hunters, I would not want to be going in that um, in that cave. I'd be the only a person. Scary spot to fight as the hunters. Like it's never worked out well. I definitely would want to be uh, the assault as the only one that goes in. Those quarters is going to work well. He's just going to get some free armor. I mean, I feel like the assault should still be in there. Should still be pressuring him, but no, he's just playing it incredibly safe. If the assault goes in, Hank can't get the shields on, right? Right now they're using the assault to clear the tyrant in the front. But you've, but you've got the personal shield, and then as soon as your personal shield down, that's the point to then start playing a bit more defensive. Make sure you've got line of sight of either Hank or Kyra. Or they can just keep the monster pinned though, like they are right now, and they can actually get a full lockdown on the timer, because right now time is of the essence. And they're up to five, and they're only at five minutes. They need to buy more time. Can, but at the moment, he's getting free armor. He's got, he's gone from stage two no armor to stage two full armor, no pressure. Right now. And I feel like if if you were fighting him, if you put pressure on him, you could actually force him to have only half armor. Would you want to fight a him with full or half armor? That's a pretty you know, self-explanatory question at that point. Exa exactly, and I feel like the assault needs to get in there. He needs to put some pressure down rather than just covering the exit. As long as he's got sight lines of either Hank or Kyra, he's safe, and that's even after the personal shield goes down. So, oh, wow. I made a good point about they are just wasting the timer, but he's got 15 minutes plus he can delay the timer, and that was a good enough crack into win stage two. He did it last game almost. And he can do it this game, so... But like you said, though, he's a good enough Kraken to be able to win at stage 2 if they give him anything. Even an inch, he'll take it for a mile and he'll kill him. Follow the signal. If you've got the assault, he's got that 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 kind of sh that shield, that safety net of not being able to be taken down. And then you just whittle away at the armor. At the moment, they're doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. I feel like they need to put more pressure on. Try and force something here. He might go right to the middle. No, he's gonna go back towards the eastern exit. Nice. He's just trying a to bit of, a bit of a stalemate right now. And to be honest, he can keep eating and try and get stage three. Well, he's gonna be out of food down there. So he's just spawn six minutes. There's more food. Is there, I think, is there not a spawner at um, 12 minutes as well? I'm not it's sure. Enough, it would be enough if there was a spawn at 12 minutes, it would be enough. He only needs 4 meat to get there, I think. It does make a move, goes straight past the hand. Yeah, we need to push him to the side. Just like, 
Pokemon, and he does get dull because of that harpoon right in his backside. Supports full health, travels, travels well, and everyone's got a ready for this occasion. Hard to see in the case. Right now, we do see a pounce right now going on support. He's trying to focus him down, dealing with the damage. Can't hold him. Put him right on down, dealing damage. Stealth pounce attempted and missed. Vortex coming out, dealing damage. Harpoon coming in to keep the support alive. And down. Well, what are you doing down there? You need to get out of there right now. Do that jetpack. Get up in the air. Medic keeping him alive as well. Just barely. The medic right now is on the run. The monster is mad and angry. Shield comes in. Shield the medic. Keeping him alive. Vortex comes in on the support. Stealth pounce. Going on the support. Trying to get him down. Get rid of those shields. Keep pushing the board. Support barely surviving. This is medic is nailing him with the grenades. Support at 5% health. And almost got it down there. And he's just healing him right up. Playing ring around the rosy on the street. He's got so close, great heals from Savvy here. Ethan Span is up, and that is really, really great play there. Fantastic well from Savvy. Yeah. You can see more and more health games getting ticked off on this monster, and he's just taking it all day. Still feel like it's not enough. They need to get another down, but with how much he managed to eat in the case, he's got a lot of that. Uh, armor and he hasn't been down to the second rock your little corner so he's, he's gonna be able to get a lot of food there he even decides to fight in the cave whilst the final slot now he doesn't he does decide he's got a lot of food on here he's gonna be able to get the stage three he's gonna eat some monkeys get in the corner do his evolve and that we have full health full armor he's gonna take lightning strike with him because he realized he just doesn't have enough damage that yeah. kyra hank combination really strong defensively. Yeah, I mean, it's most likely Hank's going capacity, which makes it even harder to break through, and really, really well played, but you saw how hard it was for them to keep one person off there. Kyra had to do everything to keep that person. That was only stage two. That's only with two skills. Got to think, lightning strike? I'm thinking lightning strike. He's got to go lightning strike. No, right but now, with he is hiding, though, around the corner. With that extra damage of lightning strike, do you not think that's going to be a very, very... You know, it's going to be very difficult to keep him up. And they only did, what, 60% of HP? Something like I mean, that. He's really close to death right now. He is still stealthing around. He is full armor, though, ready to fight at stage 2. Vortex comes in. Hits the Oh, it does. Actually, does the best start. You see the dome coming in. And does he get him, though? And yes, he's inside of the area. Inside on both the dome and the building. Pushing it around, he's got a vortex in, right on the assault, the shield is popped, he's going to be able to down, medic is right now popping up there. Assaulting, if he doesn't go down, he's blocking it with those grenades. Harpoon is keeping him right off the support, he really does want to kill the support right now. The support right now is close, trying to revive, Oracle does go down to protect the support, and we do see that the air starts to get some more hot shots in from a distance while close. We definitely needed this stone before we wanted to get stage three. This is where the game's won or lost for the hunters right now. He gets an outline, they don't get any. We do see it that we do have a down now on the support, so that wasn't all free. He is at the back health though, taking more and more health damage, getting killed. Trap right now is getting low. Shield comes in to keep him alive. Healing field is recharged. We managed to get at least one down and one down, but Needs to be able to do the you know, needs to get another uh, at least a minute, but he is gonna go off, get the evolve. And gonna be on about two thirds armor. He's gonna be in a good solid place, but this game could go either way right now. It's very, very close. I have to see whether they decide to keep chasing or they decide to back off and just set up, knowing that he's gonna have armor. I think at this point they're gonna keep chasing, try and see exactly what they can. They're not gonna give it to him for free. If he does evolve though and he gets some time in it, then yeah, they're gonna they're probably gonna back off and set up. That's what I think they're going to play, and I think it's the only way they can play it at this point. They want as much as they can on that stage 3 scary Kraken. No matter, stage three. They are fighting in a cave, though, with Light Strike, Vortex, and Banshees. That you see is him, though. Oh, there they go. They see him now. Assault's getting the shots in. Hank's coming out, and we have to reverse Light Strike. This is going to be one scary Kraken. Light Strike's coming down. He gave it to the shot. He doesn't get the hit. Oh, uh, it's just all the crap. It takes about a half hour. Shield comes in. Actually, just with that melee strike. However, that does reveal where he is in the crack of his over blood. Where is that support? He's saying, I want some support food. He's looking for a barbecue. He does have a ring here. If he can catch somebody on their own trying to chase, that could be a very easy day. He's just managing to take away. One shot does miss, though. Well, it does, it does clip the medic, though, just dealing that little bit of extra damage. 
Yeah, he's just trying to mitigate it. He's just trying to survive this zone. He doesn't want to take any more health damage, and he doesn't have to. And right now, more and more damage he dealt. does hit the medic kill again. I think right now is at 5 to 10%, up to 50%, down to 20%. And he's just bouncing all around to help people just get blocked and all those things himself up. Better for now getting clipped again with the Vortex. Does clip also the trap and push them back and further away. Lightning start moving on. Trash trying to keep off the chase end, and the assault does get hit by that one, pushing him down to low health, but the medic's gonna be able to top him off in no time. Yeah, great play, and Cyril did get down. I feel like this um Rafa is running cooldown. I don't feel like he would have been able to get the dome if he wasn't running cooldown. So again, more harpoons coming out. More dames coming out. Pick up. He's doing something and it's working out well for him. Right now, yeah. Cyril's desperate for some speeds. Uh, if he can get full armor, he'll be in a great position to fight. Well, a oh, good man. position to fight. Okay, he's, say, well, man. He's, get, he's scared right now. However, at this point, it doesn't look like they are heading to the relay. Yeah, they want to choose where they fight. No Maggie traps, so they can't. You bring around the Rosies as well. That, but we'll have to see where they fight. They're probably gonna sit up on the rocks uh, behind the relay. If I had to bet, probably in. Uh... Right, here. There we go. They're probably gonna be setting up the fight in this region because it does give them a good amount of control, flat terrain, and it is pretty easy for them to protect themselves. I mean, there are quite a few um, little places that they can cut around. Those trees are very, very good to block vortex. Make lightning strike even harder to hit. Yeah, so go straight in. Very low. Five percent shield. Gonna have to top himself off. Gets picked up. Medic does go down because he does break minus sight on the support support. Unable to throw that shield to protect him. Both right now on the support to try and bring up that medic. Assault needs to be going in the front to bring him up and protect him so the support can get him revived. Lightning Strike going down to ensure the corpse and put the medic on the dropship, which makes this a whole lot scarier of a position for that hunter squad. Amicus does come down there. Nightwing is very And uh, he's out, used a lot of capacity just to try and keep the medic alive. And when he's taking a hit, he's going to take his tank up straight away. I feel like that is going to be. Uh, great play. And that shows how vital the medic is. Two games, the medic goes down, and that's it. That's game. So, so important to, to game, make sure that your medic game. stays alive. Right, and you can just see their health plummeting on the damage here. You just see it just go, and down they go. Yeah. Really, really well played, but very good performance from uh, very good from performance Hunter. On all sides. That was a yeah. much closer game than game one. Much very, uh, very close. More competitive. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to leave. Sure that, for you know, they have the potential to be a very strong hunter team. I think with the with the pickup of source that they managed to have in their team, they can now consistently scrim against a very strong kraken, which helps them out a lot. It's the same with. Evolve Hype, they picked up a very strong monster, which has been their weakness before, and it's, it's allowed their hunter team to grow and get stronger by being able to practice against somebody, against a monster who is at a, a top tier. So, really, really hoping that they can uh, keep progressing and, and keep, you know, keep improving, because this team could be a really, really strong one, and uh, they certainly have a lot of potential. We'll just have to see how Eyes on you, Hunter team did manage to do on. They did only need to win one game. Let's see, we'll have to see if they managed to do it. Well, it is still going on right now, so we're waiting on an update from Source to find out what exactly is going on in that game, uh, to find out who won and who lost. We still haven't had any updates from either side on that side. So we don't know how the Eyes on you, Hunter team's doing against Source as the monster. Indeed, we will have to see. Um... We do actually have a GG call from Nightwayne, so it does look like Eyes on You may be going on. I will just confirm.
Yeah, it's a it's a three oh two eyes on you here, so very, very well played. Two ninja penguins. However it does look like they are. Yeah, it's three one in total. So it does look like Eyes on you will be progressing and they will be going against the Volve Hype, a much, much harder team. Cyril's going to have to really, really focus on, on his targets and make sure he gets them down when he wants to. So really, really well played by them, by both teams. Really, really even fight and hopefully... You can tell that they've played against each other quite a few times because they know how to work with each other. They were clearly were able to get a good met out of it. They knew that he was trying to bait them into the tunnels. He knew that they wanted him out of the tunnels and they were just having a good old time. Yeah, it was really, really well played. And uh, I mean, they've... Um, the 100 teams scrimmed against Source quite a few times and so he'll know how the 100 team plays. And again, last week, it's another rematch and, and as I knew, do take it this time. Just have to wait and see at this point. Wait and see. Uh, we're still waiting on an update on what's going on here. Uh, in the meantime, guys, we're going to take a quick little intermission just in between games because uh, that was a good, entertaining time. And we'll see what happens on the barracks. We're still waiting on Hard on You and Sounds to finish up their match. Hard on You should be okay, though. Sounds is a good team, but Hard on You is well hard on them. We'll see how they go, and it'll probably against Epex Black, and we'll see Evolve Hype versus Eyes on You shortly. <laughs> 